Have you ever had a personal trainer outside the Apple shop? Have you ever had a live band come and play live music to you outside the Apple shop? Have you ever had Michelin star dining outside the Apple shop? Well, these are some of the activities I have planned. Hi, my name's Rob Shoesmith and welcome to my iPhone 5 experiment. Take a look at this. One rule to the iPhone 5 experiment, and that is I can't spend a single penny on any kit I take down there with me, including travel, entertainment, food, clothing, the lot. You're probably thinking to yourself, where the hell did I get all this kit from? Well, what I'm doing is I'm going to be camping on the streets of London for the launch of the iPhone 5. And there's one rule to the experiment, I can't spend a single penny on any of the kit I take down there with me. The response from companies has been absolutely amazing. Um, over 100 companies so far have got in touch to donate gear to my experiment. Take a look at some of these items which have been donated to me. Absolutely crazy. These are the products which have been donated to me so far. The Glow Company have donated me a tent, so I have got a accommodation outside the Apple Store in Regent Street, London. A company called Millets have donated me a chair, so you'll probably see this outside the Apple Store in London. A company called Suck UK have even donated me a pocket pint. So if you've got any beer, then feel free to send me a summer cross because I'm going to get a bit bored, I would imagine, staying outside the Apple shop for a number of days, weeks, or even months. A company called Casemate have donated me a couple of fuel cells. So I'm going to be blogging live outside of the Apple store, so I need as much power as I can. So if you can lend me some batteries for the iPhone or iPad, then, yeah, get in touch. The Glow Company have even given me some glow sticks, so I can have a bit of a boogie outside the Apple Store. I've been given some Redwood Creek wine, so that will go down nicely, I could imagine. I have some bungees for my iPhone, so I don't lose it, because I'm terrible for losing stuff, so, you know, this, these will come in really good. Ministry of Sound have got in touch with me and given me some headphones, I like my music, so I can entertain myself outside the Apple shop. I've got a number of energy drinks, including a product called Neurosonic, um, Mountain Dew by PepsiCo, and some Together Goji Natural Energy, so it'll keep my energy levels up, because I'm going to be there for a number of hours, maybe days, weeks, months, I don't know yet, so need as much energy as I can. In case I get hungry, I've got a product called Full Fast Appetite Control Spray. So you never know, if I run out of food, then I can just give this a few sprays and I should be sorted. So unless you represent a company or a restaurant who can deliver food to me outside the Apple shop, then that would be fantastic. You know where to get in touch. I have a product called Monkey Spunk. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell is Monkey Spunk? Well, what it is, it's a gadget cleaner, so I'm sure a lot of my gadgets will get dirty outside an Apple shop in central London, so hopefully these will come in handy. The Glow Company have donated me a LED light, so I'll be able to charge it during the day and I'll have lighting in the evening in, in my tent outside the Apple store in Regent Street. A company called Suck UK have donated me an inflatable e-chair, so I'll have a good couple of seats, so if you want to come by and say hi, uh, feel free to, because I'm going to get a bit bored, I would imagine, sitting outside the Apple shop on my own, so yeah, come by and say hello. Don't be scared if you see me wearing a pair of these though. Uh, check these bad boys out, these are from the Glow Company as well. Flashing lights. <laughs> I have a pair of sports socks which will hopefully keep me warm. Um, one thing which I'm planning on doing is having a personal trainer come and give me a personal training session outside the Apple shop, so this should be really fun. Um, I'm looking for clothes such as um, tattoo bottoms, t-shirts, that type of thing, so get in touch if you can help me out with that one. I have some smoking mittens as well, um, I like to have a cigarette now and again, so if it gets cold at night I can pop these babies on, and as you can see there's a hole for where you put your cigarette, so these will come in handy. A company called E-Lights have got in touch with me, um, they gave me an electronic cigarette, so little bit more healthier isn't it than smoking normal cigarettes so thinking about maybe giving up on the streets of London but you never know. A company called Casemate have donated me a iPhone 4 case which is great thank you very much guys. I will be have sent out an electric toothbrush which will be good because I'm not going to be moving 
come outside the apple store for a pretty long time so I need to brush my teeth and stay fresh somehow. The Spitalfields Candle Company have sent out a candle to me which smells very nice so it would be nice to maybe take away some of the smells of the London streets you know like car fumes and that type of thing away so yeah um, plus it might chill me out a little bit as well because I'm probably going to get a bit stressed out living on the streets of London for quite a while so you know anything to help. The Glow Company have sent out a glow in the dark t-shirt which will be cool so I'll be able to have my dinner outside the Apple shop and I'll be able to wear this and I'll be able to look dead smart won't I so unless you represent a three-piece suit company who can donate a suit to me experiment then that and you know get in touch. The uh, guys at Drink Stuff have got in touch and they've donated me a festival weekend kit which is cool. I don't want to be scruffy so uh, guys at Gillette have sent me some moisturiser, uh, some shaving foam and a razor so there's no excuses there. Um, I've also been sent across some shaving cream by a company called the Blue Beards Revenge um, which is cool. So I'll have to test out both products and see which one I prefer. Let you, I'll let you guys know. Called Kenneth Cole even got in touch and they've given me a watch. Um, I'll show you guys. It's a touch screen. Ooh, there you go. That, it's a touch screen watch. Um, so I'll be able to time how long I've got before the iPhone 5 goes on sale. So um, that's really good of you. Thanks Kenneth Cole. I've also got some glow in the dark cutlery and I've got some cups as well so you'll be able to see me at night having a couple of glasses of wine maybe or a beer or you know whatever so uh, f feel free to come down and join me and say hello. I've got some clothes pegs so I'm going to have to hang up my clothes somewhere so I'm sure they'll come in handy somewhere, somewhere down the line so you know. I've got a power adapter for the iPhone and iPad so I can charge both of them at the same time so that'll be really good so I need as much power as possible so if any of you guys got any ideas then get in touch on my YouTube channel or on Twitter at shoesmith81 I've got some Body Elements silicon food supplement so apparently after my training session outside the Apple shop then I can maybe take some of this because I haven't done any exercise since quitting the uh, job as a bin man in Coventry so yeah um, I'll try out anything which will sort of help the aches and pains and you know it's going to be quite tough I think sleeping on a cold pavement outside the apple shop so you know I'll test anything out so get in touch if you've got any products guys. Have you ever had a mobile hairdresser come and give you a haircut outside the apple shop? Um, the company Millets also sent out a giant microfiber towel so it will help me stay dry apparently if I get really wet and stuff I can use this and it dries really really fast so that's really good. A company called mobilefund.co.uk have donated me some iPhone gloves so they've got electrical conductors in them so if it gets cold at night and I want to be blogging away or tweeting then these will work so thank you very much mobilefund.co.uk I've got a yo-yo as well so that'll be something to keep me occupied with so thanks to the Glow Company for that as well. I've been sent out a healthy back bag so that'll be cool to store my gadgets and products in so I'll keep them dry I would imagine. I've donated a cube which glows in the dark at night so you plug it you sort of plug a battery into it and it glows all different neon colours so I'm sure people will be able to see me at night so that was donated by the glow company as well so massive thanks out to them because they've been absolutely brilliant. I've also been donated a barbecue as well so it's basically a barbecue in a bucket so what I can do is if any companies in the London area want to donate some burgers or some sausages and a few bread rolls to me then feel free um, if anyone's watching this video wants to come down and have a burger then yeah come down and if you can supply the burgers then I'll do the barbecue so it'd be good to sort of talk to people who come down and keep me company so yeah feel free to come down um, I've also got some mystical fire um, so I sprinkled it on the barbecue and it gives off loads of bright vibrant colours 
but I've got to be really careful because I don't want to get moved on by the police or the council because that would be really bad. A company called Ready Bird have sent me out a sleeping bag which basically inflates so you put a battery in it and it self inflates so you've got an air mattress all in one so potentially you know I could sleep on this for months and months and months if I wanted to. Um, so thank you very much Ready Bed for that really kind donation from you guys. Cheers. Well this is what the iPhone experiment is all about. And of course getting free products to test out whilst I'm down there. Finally I've been donated a big large rucksack which needs filling up by a company called Carry More. So if you can help me out to fill up the backpack with loads of goodies, clothing, camping equipment, gadgets, food, you know, anything like that, then feel free to get in touch with me at rob at medalmobile.com. Alternatively, contact me on Twitter at shoesmith81 or via the blog www.robshoesmith.blogspot.com. I'm sure I'll be doing a few more YouTube videos with updates about my iPhone 5 experiment. But if not, then I'll be blogging live from the streets of London outside the Regent Street Apple shop for the release of the iPhone 5. So I hope you can come and join me. If not, connect with me on Twitter or via the blog. Take care and hope to see you soon. Bye.